Hello everyone, it's not Halloween, probably, but it's still time to talk about CyberGhost VPN. <laughs> so if you're here, you probably know what a VPN is and you're just trying to figure out which one's the best for you. Well, we actually rather like CyberGhost and I'm about to tell you why. Uh, this is going to be a simple, beginner-friendly review, although I will be putting in some information for my fellow nerds. If said fellow nerds want to see the full review with all of the tests we ran, all of the results we got, a full rundown of just about every feature, check the link in the description for the full review from VPN Mentor. And if you find this video useful or helpful in making your VPN purchasing decisions, please do like, subscribe, Maybe hit that notification bell icon because we have lots of reviews, tips, tricks, tutorials, and guides coming out on a regular basis on this channel, and you might want to keep up with that. With all of that said, let's show you the actual software. Alright, so this is CyberGhost. It actually has a pretty solid, a pretty huge network at 91 countries. Not as big as ExpressVPN's 94, but still a really good, solid spread of countries. So you can always, almost, connect to a server near you for speed, which is honestly fantastic. I like to connect to Dallas personally because I'm in Mexico City and that speeds up my gaming a little uh, on some games like Halo Infinite. But where CyberGhost does things a little differently is not in the number of servers, it's in the dedicated servers. So it has a few interesting features. For, for example, it has dedicated servers for streaming in a variety of different countries that help you access specific services, Disney Plus, Netflix, Netflix US on the Fire Stick, CBS, um, YouTube TV, all those different specific services. You can stream on any server, but it's not guaranteed that those servers are optimized for streaming, and it's not guaranteed that you'll be able to actually access the service. If you want to stream, use a streaming server. You, again, you can torrent on any server, but you can use specialized torrenting servers for greater access and speed in some cases. If for those uh, legitimate torrents like public domain torrents, internet archive, your Linux distributions, that sort of thing. Next, you can use dedicated gaming servers. Again, you can game on any server, and sometimes I do. But these specific gaming servers can help you a lot if you find one close to you. Mind you, I am not close to New York, so this isn't as useful to me. And there's, of course, a dedicated IP service where you can always connect uh, to, th through your VPN to a specific IP address. So that uh, that's useful for things like banking. If you're traveling abroad, banks don't like it when your IP address jumps around too much. You can use a dedicated IP to for that sort of thing. Not so great for anonymity, though. Good for banking, not for anonymity. But it, the service has been updated, and this is really interesting, honestly, to make it so that CyberGhost doesn't know what your dedicated IP address is. I I know, it's weird, uh, but cool. So I'm going to run a quick speed test and show you how that works. Let's uh, pick Dallas as my server location, and then I'm going to click connect, and I'm going to hide that <laughs> because... Uh, well, CyberGhost does this weird little thing. It shows your IP address in the app, which is great, both your uh, VPN IP address and your personal one, which is great for you, your pri your, the private user, but not so great for me, the video maker. All right, so I'm just going to, let's see, reload this tab before I ta uh, go into it because that'll show my IP too. There we go, that's fine, that's a VPN IP. And we're going to run a quick speed test. Again, this is me connecting from Mexico City to Dallas, Texas. It's connecting. That always takes a while. Ignore that. 47 milliseconds of ping. Pretty darn solid. I have 115 megabits per second of download speed total. This is using most of that, which... Ooh, it's going up higher. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it, it uses most. It averages around 110, I'd say. And it should use most, if not all, of my upload speeds. Yep, that's about right. So the bandwidth overhead of using a VPN, of using this VPN, is minimal. By the way, you should look down in the description for a link to the tech gaming tests I did. I tested ExpressVPN, CyberGhost, and Private Internet Access to see how they handled gaming in both New World and Apex Legends. And I would have tested Halo Infinite if it had been out then. 
but still, um, it's a, it's, it was a, a video that was very fun for me to make, but also has lots of pretty cool information about the gaming side of things. So yeah, CyberGhost allows you to access a whole lot of different services. It has those dedicated servers, and I would actually like to show you those dedicated servers now. Specifically, we're going to use the streaming ones to uh, to show off how well CyberGhost connects to Netflix and Disney Plus. Netflix because everybody watches Netflix, and Disney Plus because Disney Plus can actually be really hard to unlock. Also Hulu, but I don't have a personal account for that, so I won't be showing it off this time. First, we're going to show you the video playing on Netflix. Let's just reload these tabs to make sure everything's as it should be. And then I'm going to hit Disenchantment because, oh god, I want to see that new series. And it's working just fine, of course. I'm not connected to the VPN. Now we're going to hit United States Netflix. Where is that? One criticism I'd have is that the text for some of this is really tiny. Okay. Netflix US. Hit that. Hit connect. Hide the window. And it'll take a second to connect. And then I'll just hit reload. Okay, the st current Netflix streaming server is having trouble. That's a thing that happens. Okay, so hot tip, try when this happens, try another server. I'll show you. And here I am, I am connected to the Dallas server in the US, not showing you my IP. Let's give this a quick little check. And boom, Ultraman season two, it does work. Netflix is working fine on a regular server. Let's uh, quickly cut and show you what happens with the streaming servers. I am connected again uh, on this streaming server specifically op optimized for Netflix US. So let's go ahead and run the test. Let's, ooh. Oh, there's new episodes of Tiger and Bunny? Hmm. Didn't they only make two seasons? I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't matter. The point is, it works. Cyber Ghost with Netflix works just fine. Let's move on and test Disney Plus. I'm starting a video on Disney Plus. I am still, I'm in Mexico. And I'm just gonna close that tab altogether. I'm going to connect to the dedicated streaming server. And Disney Plus has refused to connect. Oh wow, this is a problem. Okay, so I ran into one of those problems. It's a small bug with Cyber Ghost, where if you connect and disconnect to a so to the servers like a couple of times, it can mess up the internet for your whole computer and you have to restart the computer to make it work. I, it's a bug, it's there. And I, I've restarted my computer and I'm trying again. So a couple of interesting things. I am connected to a generic United States server right now, just regular, regular US server. Netflix won't even load at all. It just won't. Uh, this happens sometimes. You've got to try different servers. It, look in the uh, links below in the video description. We have a whole tutorial on how to troubleshoot problems with VPNs. Now, we're just going to load up here. Disney Plus, I picked a random video. Disney Plus, on the other hand, does seem to be working on this particular server. Yep, working just fine. I want to quickly go over the security measures that uh, CyberGhost has. It actually has a variety of security protocols you can choose from. These are the um, the methods of transferring information back and forth and the methods of encryption that the VPN uses. Uh, there are some that prioritize speed, others that prioritize security, and uh, but you can choose between them. CyberGhost has a couple, has a kill switch, obviously, so if you're uh, it can d disconnect your whole internet if your VPN gets disconnected to prevent any data from leaking. And it has a very interesting little uh, feature. They have a specific network of servers in Romania called the NoSpy servers. Romania isn't involved in any of the sort of mutual surveillance pacts that uh, or agreements that a lot of governments are in. So if you connect your VPN to the NoSpy servers, your traffic cannot be tracked by anyone, not even if the government of your home country has a warrant. This can be very useful for political activists and people in, you know, countries with, well, frankly, messed up governments, that sort of thing. And, you know, people who are trying to do good in dangerous places. They have a no URL logging policy in general, but again, unless you're connected to those Romanian servers, a warrant can get access to, uh, you know, um, your traffic. So that's a thing to, that's a thing to keep in mind. 
It does work with the Tor browser, which is great. And new feature, they have a new password manager. It's, well, it's an integration with another password management service called PassCamp. So you can integrate uh, your password management right into your VPN service. They have a whole new security suite, an antivirus, all of that stuff. If you want to have all of your security concerns be provided by one company, by CyberGhost in particular, uh, you can do that. Mind you, Windows Defender and Windows built-in antivirus do really well. I'm not going to lie. CyberGhost obviously supports Windows by default, which is absolutely very cool. It also supports Mac and iOS and Android and Linux with a command line application. You connect. You can connect consoles, smart TVs, and more to the CyberGhost networks. And of course, it has a handy little browser extension, so you can connect and control, uh, you know, control the whole VPN for, straight from your browser which is useful. You can connect up to seven devices at a time to CyberGhost's network. You can install the client on as many devices as you want, but only one, seven devices at a time for the actual connections, which is a pretty big number, actually. A lot of them, a lot of services limit you to like five. And if you connect to a router, if you're, you're using a router to connect all of your home devices, that only really counts as one. Uh, you can get support via live chat, which is usually pretty quick. I Last time I tried, I got support within a couple of minutes, answers to my questions, very useful, very helpful. CyberGhost, as with most of these services, is a little cheaper the more time you pay for. If you pay for a year, two years, uh, three years in advance, you're going to get discounts, which is good. There is a 45-day money-back guarantee, which is actually a, uh, 15 days higher than most services in this industry will offer. And if you want everything even cheaper, look down in the description. We have a coupon page linked there that can help you get discounts on CyberGhost, ExpressVPN, and any other major VPN, basically. And uh, that can save you a lot of money, especially when you're paying for a lot of time. Unfortunately, CyberGhost does not have split tunneling, which where which is where you can decide which apps, uh, you know, are connected to the VPN and which apps aren't, which can be very useful for, say, gaming in one country and watching uh, Netflix in another country at the same time. This, uh, but it does, at least it doesn't have it most places. It has split tunneling on Android and only on Android for some reason. Uh, for payment, CyberGhost accepts credit and debit card, PayPal and uh, Google Pay, Amazon Pay, Bitcoin, uh, even via BitPay specifically. Now the final score, CyberGhost is a great option for anyone who needs its specific services. It can be a little picky sometimes, a little iffy when you're streaming. But for, you know, security concerns, for general network speed and a large network, a dedicated torrenting servers, dedicated gaming servers, all of that good stuff. If you need any of those specific features, CyberGhost is a fantastic option. And the no spy servers for people who really want to keep their privacy are, I love it. For general usage, ExpressVPN is still our favorite, but CyberGhost is pretty fantastic. For anyone who wants more information, be sure to go down to the description, check out the links below. There's a link again to the full review with all of the tests, all of the info, all of the everything. The coupon page as well, keep that in mind. And if this video was helpful, if it helped you make any decisions, please do like and subscribe. Uh, go ahead, hit that notification bell icon if you want all of our updates. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I enjoyed making it for you. This is Ezekiel Bruni, signing out. Thank <laughs> you.